For all your email management needs, look no further than AWeber, the preferred choice for geekoutdoors.com. Sign up today and you can get a 30-day free trial by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm a huge proponent of marketing, specifically digital marketing, and how technologies, especially data collection technologies, plays a huge role in that. So in this case, Amazon has announced that they're bringing ads to all their Alexa-powered devices, such as the Amazon Echo and Echo Show. And so Alexa is the AI that powers all their smart devices. And so this is something that I think a lot of people were expecting. And it's something industry-wide that is happening on a lot of devices and software, as you may have probably already seen. And it is something that's not going to stop. Okay, um, that's why I talk so much about marketing and stuff, because it's absolutely everywhere. Okay, so if you look at any site, any place, we are used to seeing ads. Okay, but what's new is that we are now seeing ads in things that we use every day that we don't think that there should be advertising there specifically in this case with the up and coming smart device category which is growing at huge huge rates okay so if you're not familiar with what ads are for Amazon they have a service called Amazon ads you could do advertising here okay I use Amazon ads myself and so in this case you could actually promote products in Amazon if you have products in there whether it be physical most of the times or you could also advertise your services here as well. So the reason why Amazon is making such a big push is because ads or ad platforms and specifically in the whole big area of digital marketing is a huge, huge place uh, that's always going to be around because sales and marketing is not going anywhere. And what they want to do is compete with the two biggest ad platforms available today. One is Google AdWords, which is definitely the largest. And the second largest is uh, Facebook ads. In this case, this is the business for Facebook website. And also other platforms like Bing ads. Um, there's also uh, Twitter ads as well. And there's also Snapchat ads. And so the ad platform space is tremendous, you know, and it's always going to be around. Okay, so this is in the whole realm of digital marketing. And so why this is such a significant thing for Amazon is because Amazon, uh, unlike all these other companies, uh, they are a buying intent platform. So if you are familiar with the whole idea of marketing, especially digital marketing, the best places to target people are is when they have a buying intent. And Amazon is nothing but buying intent. So that's why this is such a huge thing and it could potentially disrupt the whole ad platform economy because people go to Amazon to buy and so if Amazon pushes their Amazon advertising even further then more people are gonna not only use their Amazon ad platform to advertise but also they could potentially make a lot more money not only for themselves but also for Amazon which is gonna be a huge threat to other companies like Google and Facebook and Bing and many other ad platforms okay and so this is kind of like perfect timing for all of this to happen for Amazon uh, because of the simple fact that they have been successful in getting their smart devices to be basically the leader when it comes to smart devices. OK, um, if you just see things such as this, the Amazon Alexa Android Ender, um, Android app has already been installed in over 10 million uh, devices on the Play Store. And also, even if you actually look at some stats right here, I think they have 15 million Amazon Alexa in homes right now. OK, that's a lot. And it's also going into more mainstream places where we don't think about smart devices yet, such as hotels. OK, they are already installing smart devices uh, like the Amazon Alexa and Amazon Echo is more for a personal homes. So you could see where this is going. OK. And this is just the beginning, okay? I have talked about this many times before, how these smart devices are really a gateway to their AI learning machine and in the end to marketing, okay? That's really in the end what it's gonna do. 
it's going to be collecting all this data in order to get a better profile on you so then it could have highly highly targeted marketing and so if you know if you ever do any type of advertising uh, the most important thing is using the data that you have to better target and advertise to you that is the primary focus of them collecting all this data and since so many things are on the internet now and it's not going to stop ads are going to be a part of your life even if in this case you've already paid for the device okay and this is nothing new now now we're kind of used to having ads you know or marketing on things that we have already purchased or even think about your operating system like on Windows 10 it has ads and even in a more subtle space like if you use Apple Mac OS they are advertising their products in a very subtle way you might see things for Apple TV or any of the other services and so this is going to be more and more common and so there is another area where uh, this whole data collection is coming into play and that is in the area of video surveillance okay so there's a company called Tuya Smart they are a Chinese company they actually make smart devices okay so uh, all powered by AI of course they do have an app on the App Store also on the iTunes store and they also have an Amazon Alexa skill as well and so they have recently gotten to partnership uh, with Amazon that they will be able to uh, use your Amazon Echo device as a surveillance machine so this is more for security surveillance so for example you have an Amazon Echo show it has a camera and a video screen a 7 inch screen so you could monitor what's going on inside your homes with compatible to your smart devices okay along with their app but you could see where this could be used in other ways to you know collect more data you know this video surveillance is something that people have kind of been aware of even with their smart devices like your smartphones because those cameras are definitely video surveillance that can be turned on at any time but obviously all these companies tell you that uh, they do have privacy things in place and there's also government rules against doing that but at the end of the day these machines can monitor you at all times both audio wise and also visually and here this is just another step into collecting more data okay a lot more data and here's just a quick stats that they're showing how much data that they are collecting okay so they're in over 200 countries 10,000 clients but here's the most important thing two year receives daily re device requests of over 20 billion times okay that's daily daily AI interactions over 5 million times and it's accumulated data has reached over one petabyte and that is from a company called Two Your Smart now imagine a much bigger company like Amazon Google Apple you know with their smart devices you can imagine how much data how many AI requests they're getting every day and at the end of the day how much marketing data that they're building and you know like all the profiles that they are creating on you okay and so some people might argue that this is not a problem you know are they really at, uh, eavesdropping or should you worry okay um, in this case they're saying you shouldn't worry because there are laws against them doing that okay but you know the uh, truth of the matter is all of these laws there can be a uh, maneuvered around okay I mean they could still get data and stuff on you not to say that these companies are not taking your privacy you know seriously which they are and because there are laws against it but if you do any type of marketing in the back end they collect so much data and technically all of this is legal and so if you add all these other smart devices with the different various methods of collecting data not only from the audio standpoint but also visual all, also all the searches that you do you could easily see how they could know so much and on you and also better target you like never before and so um, I tell you all of this because for a few reasons uh, first and foremost I really think that you should take the whole area of marketing seriously especially in digital marketing because that's where everything is already heading so you can kind of know where things are going okay and secondly in the whole uh, data collection uh, technology portion of it okay so if you are more aware of these things um, then 
you know, you could kind of make, in my opinion, just better decisions on certain things, okay? So I'm a big proponent of marketing, as I said earlier, and also I understand the importance of data collection. But I also understand the importance of your own privacy as well. And so, you know, as with anything, the more you know, the better decisions that you can make. And so if you had any thoughts on Amazon ads in Alexa, any of these smart devices, anything related to this data collection or surveillance, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And as always, if you did enjoy these videos, you got value out of them, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.